Hi everyone, in this video, I will going to solve this algebra equation. The equation we have 8 minus k whole to the power of 2 is equals to 81. Okay, we need to find out the value of k. So let's get start the solution. First, I will going to take this 81 to the left hand side. 8 minus k whole to the power of 2 minus 81 is equals to 0. Now next, I will going to change this 81 in the form of power. 8 minus k whole to the power of 2 minus 9 to the power of 2. Now here, I'm going to apply the algebra guarantee that is a square minus b square is equals to a minus b and a plus b. So this can be written as this is our a and this is our b value. 8 minus k minus 9, 8 minus k plus 9 is equals to 0. And this can be written as minus 1 minus k and this 8 plus 9 is equals to 17 minus k is equals to 0. Here we get the two cases. Minus 1 minus k is equals to 0. And this I'm going to take to the right hand side. So this will turn to positive. So here we get the k value that is negative 1. And the other case we have 17 minus k is equals to 0. This I'm going to take to the right hand side. So k is equals to 17. So this is our k1 and k2. Now I'm going to solve it out this same expression by using the second method. So the expression we have here, I will going to apply the algebraic identity that is a minus b whole to the power of two can be written as a square minus two ab plus b square. So this is our a and this is our b value here. So this equation can be written as 8 square minus 2 times 8 times k plus k square is equals to 81. Now next I'm going to take this to the left hand side and this I'm going to write 8 to the power of 2 is equals to 64. 2 8 times give us 16 k plus k square minus 81 is equals to 0. Now I'm going to simplify the like terms here. So here I'm going to write according to the power. And the 64 minus 81 will get 17 is equals to 0. Now I'm going to factorize this equation. Here we have the product that is 17. So I'm going to take two factor that I'm going to multiply. So I will get 17. And as I'm going to add or subtract, so I will get negative 16k. So for that, I'm going to take the two factor that is k square minus 17k plus k minus 17 is equals to zero. Next, I'm going to take here common of k minus 17 plus here I'm going to take common of 1 k minus 17 is equals to 0. Here we have the two common terms k minus 17 I took the common here k is remaining plus 1 is remaining is equals to 0. Now we get the two cases k minus 17 is equals to 0. So k is equals to 17. And the other case we have k plus 1 is equals to 0. So here we get k is equals to negative 1. So here we get the two cases k1, 17 and k2 we get that is negative 1. Now I'm going to verify my answer. The equation we have here I'm going to take the k value that is 17. 8 minus 17 and whole to the power of 2 is equals to 81. Here we get the negative 9, so whole to the power of 2 is equals to 81. And here we'll get the positive answer because of the unit power. 81 is equals to 81.
Your left hand side equal to the right hand side. Now, now I'm going to solve it out the other k that is 8 minus k whole to the power of 2 is equals to 81. And here k is equals to minus 1. 8 minus and minus 1 and whole to the power of 2 is equals to 81. And here this will turn to minus minus plus 1 and whole to the power of 2 is equals to 81. Here 9 to the power of 2 is equals to 81. Here left hand side equal to the right hand side. So the value of k that is negative 1 is also absolutely correct. Thank you so very much for watching my video. If you like my video, please do hit the like button and please support my channel by subscribing.